Recently, there's been a resurgence of interest amongst fintech companies in getting a bank charter. In fact, just two weeks ago, the Office of the Comptroller of the Currency gave Vero a bank charter. And perhaps even more interesting, the acting head of the OCC described the granting of that charter to a fintech company as a come on in, the water's fine moment for fintech companies. So fintech clients are starting to ask whether they should jump in that water and accept the invitation from the head of the OCC. So today I'm gonna to talk a little bit about the potential benefit to fintech companies of getting a bank charter. Right now, most fintech companies that are operating throughout the United States are dealing with different regulators in every state where they do business. So for example, a fintech that is involved in online lending will often be required to get a lending license from that state. And similarly, if you're engaged in money transmission within a state, the state often requires you to get a money transmission license from that state. And once you have a license, you're then subject to regulation by the state regulator that issued that license. So that can be incredibly burdensome for fintech companies who have to deal with many different bodies of regulation and many different regulators. But that can all be resolved if you have a bank charter, because under the doctrine of federal preemption, if you have a bank charter, that preempts the state licensing requirements. And that can be a huge benefit to a fintech company because it doesn't have to deal with dozens of different bodies of regulation, which can be actually duplicative or even inconsistent, and similarly deal with dozens of different state regulators. Right now, most fintechs who want to provide payment services in the United States have to pay a bank to do so. And that's because the majority of electronic payment transactions that settle in the United States do so through the Federal Reserve System. And generally only banks are eligible to have a master account at the Federal Reserve Bank that allows them to settle those types of transactions. But if a FinTech gets a bank charter, that makes it eligible to get a master account and directly settle transactions through the Federal Reserve System. And obviously that's a potential benefit to fintechs because it avoids them having to pay banks for the privilege of accessing the Federal Reserve's system. A bank charter can give fintechs access to less expensive funding in a couple of ways. First of all, it allows a fintech to raise money through direct deposits from consumers that are insured by the FDIC. And FDIC insured deposits are relatively inexpensive forms of funding. Second of all, it gives them access to certain wholesale funding, uh, such as the Federal Reserve's discount window and the federal funds market. And obviously, getting less expensive funding is a tremendous benefit to fintech companies. So you may now be thinking that the OCC is right. These benefits sound great. It's time for fintechs to jump in the water. But before you pick up your phone and call the OCC and ask for a bank charter, there's a few challenges that you should think about. And the first one is you can't get a bank charter by just picking up the phone and calling the OCC. It's actually a lengthy process. It can be expensive. And at the end, you may not even get a bank charter. Second, the OCC can be a particularly challenging regulator. Uh, it engages in forms of supervision, such as on-site examination, that many state regulators don't. And third, the OCC imposes certain types of bank regulatory requirements that state regulators sometimes do not. So for example, capital requirements and liquidity requirements can be particularly challenging and can be greater when imposed on a bank by the OCC than when imposed, for example, on an online lender by a state regulator. So it can be difficult to weigh all the advantages versus the disadvantages, but good news, I'm a lawyer. So I would be happy to talk this through with you. And if you're interested, give me a call. I'd love to chat with you.